Hello, welcome to Evening Prayer on this Thursday, the 19th of August, 2021, Thursday of the 20th week of Ordinary Time. Gospel story this morning at Mass was the uh, uh, parable, Jesus teaching uh, the high priests and the, the Pharisees about the kingdom of God. He likened it to a king who's preparing a banquet and inviting many guests and they all found reasons not to come they were too busy couldn't be bothered and uh, so he he changed the the plan and said well just go and invite everybody invite everyone and, and all good bad everybody to come to the feast the banquet inviting uh, all people and so people did come and uh, but there was one particular guy it says in the story that uh, uh, was not wearing proper apparel and so uh, he was uh, escorted out if you will and thrown out into the darkness and says where there will be uh, wailing and grinding of teeth no, it has nothing to do with uh, the clothes we would wear to God's banquet, but knowing that we're all invited, all of us are invited to eternal life. We've all been given this beautiful invitation to divinity. And when we accept the invitation, we have to prepare ourselves for that invitation and enter into the presence of God with our hearts, ourselves, purified and cleaned. We cannot uh, try to pretend to go into God's presence and, and have... Uh, have the stain of sin and everything else that's uh, in getting in our way uh, of celebrating this banquet. We have to cleanse ourselves, prepare ourselves to enter into God's presence. And uh, that means the sacrament of reconciliation. That means living a good and wholesome uh, life to the best of our capabilities and, and being being receptive and cooperative with this invitation. So let us pray today as we pray our evening prayer that we have the wherewithal to understand that we are invited to share in God's kingdom and we have to make preparations for that. So let us pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God. Come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was, in the beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. He is my comfort and my refuge. In him I put my trust. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my arms for battle, who prepares my hands for war. He is my love, my fortress, he is my stronghold, my savior, my shield, my place of refuge. He brings peoples under my rule. Lord, what is man that you care for him, mortal man that you keep him in mind, man who is merely a breath, whose life fades like a shadow. Lower your heavens and come down, touch the mountains, wreathe them in smoke, flash your lightnings, rout the foe. Shoot your arrows and put them to flight. Reach down from heaven and save me. Draw me out from the mighty waters, from the hands of alien foes, whose mouths are filled with lies, whose hands are raised in perjury. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. He is my comfort and my refuge. In him I put my trust. Blessed are the people whose God is the Lord. To you, O God, will I sing a new song. I will play on the ten-stringed harp. 
to you who give vic- to, to you who give kings their victory, who set David your servant free. You set him free from the evil sword. You rescued him from alien foes, whose mouths were filled with lies, whose hands were raised in perjury. Let our sons then flourish like saplings, grown tall and strong from their youth, our daughters graceful as columns, adorned as though for a palace. Let our barns be filled to overflowing with crops of every kind, our sheep increasing by thousands, myriads of sheep in our fields, our cattle heavy with young. No ruined wall, no exile, no sound of weeping in our streets. Happy the people with such blessings. Happy the people whose God is the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord God of strength, you gave your Son victory over death. Direct your church's fight against evil in the world. Clothe us with the weapons of light and unite us under the one banner of love that we may receive our eternal reward after the battle of earthly life. Blessed are the people whose God is the Lord. Now the victorious reign of our God has begun. We praise you, the Lord God Almighty, who is and who was. You have assumed your great power. You have begun your reign. The nations have raged in anger, but then came your day of wrath and the moment to judge the dead, the time to reward your servants, the prophets, and the holy ones who revere you, the great and the small alike. Now have salvation and power come, the reign of our God and the authority of his anointed one, for the accuser of our brothers is cast out who night and day accused them before God. They defeated him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Love for life did not deter them from death, so rejoice, you heavens, and you that dwell therein. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now the victorious reign of our God has begun. Our reading is in reference to the letter to the Colossians. You must hold fast to faith, be firmly grounded and steadfast in it, unshaken in the hope promised promised you by the gospel you have heard. It is the gospel which has been announced to every creature under heaven. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall want for nothing. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall want for nothing. He has brought me to green pastures, I shall want for nothing. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall want for nothing. If you hunger for holiness, God will satisfy your longing, good measure, and flowing over. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his army, has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. If you hunger for holiness, God will satisfy your longing, good measure, and flowing over. 
Let us pray to Christ, the light of the nations and the joy of every living creature. Give us light, peace, and security, Lord. Brilliant light, word, word of the Father, you came to save all men. Lead the catechumens of your church into your marvelous light. Give us light, peace, and security, Lord. Overlook our sins, Lord, for you are the source of forgiveness. Give us light, peace, and security, Lord. Lord, it is your will that men use their minds to unlock nature's secrets and master the world. May the arts and sciences advance your glory and the happiness of all peoples. Give us light, peace, and security, Lord. Look kindly on those who have dedicated themselves to the service of their fellow men. May they fulfill their work freely and completely. Give us light, peace, and security, Lord. Lord, you open the way, and no one can close it. Lead into your light those who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection. Give us light, peace, and security, Lord. Gathering our prayer and praises into one, let us offer the prayer that Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord, hear the evening prayers we bring before you. Help us to follow in the footsteps of your Son, so that we may produce an abundant harvest of goodness in patience and in faith. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, God who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great night, everyone, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.